What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of the Upgraded Budget Series here on Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And today, guys, what we are going to be focusing on is the running back position. Yes, the position that I use basically like 90% of my plays. I run the ball a ton in this game, and I get a lot of hate for it. But the reason for that is because... I'm pretty effective running the ball for the most part. Now, granted, of course, when I go up against people that are elite level players, I'm going to have problems, but that's because I'm not an elite level player. So basically what I'm getting at here is that if you are looking to run the football and you are not going to be playing in like competitive Madden Ultimate Team or competitive Madden games, this is kind of the video for you because these are the kind of players that you can use on like a budget squad but not necessarily a super low budget squad but one that's a little bit more upgraded i mean obviously we're getting to the end of madden here so we're, i'm not going to be talking about players that are 2000 3000 coins we're going to be talking about guys that are more in like the 10 to 50,000 range and and the reason that i'm giving such a wide variety of range here is because i personally believe that running back is one of the most important positions for your team you need to have a guy that has the skill set that matches your offense and that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about today. So if you're new to the series, just to let you know, there are plenty of other videos that are similar to this for other positions. So make sure that you go and take a look at those. I'll be leaving links to them in the description below so you can easily go check them out at any time. And uh, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the first player that we're going to look at today. And that first player is one that I think a lot of people don't really realize is as good as he is. So for 40,000 coins, you can get Ghost Thurman Thomas. Now, obviously, there's an Ultimate Legend Thurman Thomas card. And if you can afford that, I would obviously recommend going ahead with that. But if you can't afford that, for 40,000 coins, this Ghost Thurman Thomas card is a beast. Let's take a look at some of these attributes that we have here for Ghost Thurman Thomas because I think, like I said, a lot of people don't really realize how good this card is. So first of all, let's kind of take a look at the categories that we're going to look at today before we actually get into the individual numbers for this card. So the first thing that we look at is, of course, speed. And speed, uh, I mean, to me, you have to look at speed for basically any position in this game. Other than maybe kicker and punter, it doesn't matter. But every other position, including offensive line, speed matters. So speed obviously is number one on the list. Number two, we have acceleration. Then we've got agility, elusiveness, trucking, stiff arm, spin move, juke, carrying. And then on the right side, we've got catching and catching traffic. Those are kind of added bonuses for people that like to throw to their running back. And then, of course, below that, we've got the prices listed for the cards in terms of coins. And obviously, this is kind of a uh, an average of all of the consoles because, you know, it kind of varies from console to console depending on how the card is priced on that individual console. But for this individual card that we're looking at here, 40,000 coins is about the average price that you're going to find. Now, if you're wondering what the, the different colors are and you're new to the series, the colors basically represent how good uh, the number that that card has at that individual attribute. So, for example, this card has 97 acceleration, which is a green attribute, and that obviously means good. Yellow means it's decent but not great, and then red means it's not very good. So, in this case... He actually has green for acceleration at 97, but his agility is only a 93. Now, at other positions, 93 would be amazing for agility, but for running back, it's not that great. So it's actually a red attribute for this card. Now, in my opinion, the most important attributes that we need to look at here, like I said, number one are speed, number two, acceleration, and then number three, I think that there's a lot of controversy about what people like to see out of their running back and I think it really comes down to your individual playing style so there's some of these players that are going to work better for you than others depending on the move or the uh, just the style of runner that you're comfortable with but in this case I think that I mean obviously he's going to be best at things like the stiff arm the juke move and the spin move being that those are green attributes but if you're just looking for something that you don't really need to control and it's something that just is going to be kind of inherent in the card, elusiveness might be the most important attribute outside of speed and acceleration for running backs, in my opinion. 
Uh, elusiveness is kind of the thing that helps you break away from tackles or slip them or, you know, do that kind of stuff without really needing to do anything with your users. So it's basically a built-in attribute for the card. And although 92 is pretty decent, it's not a green attribute for Thurman Thomas. So that is one area where he kind of does struggle. Now, of course, like I said, he does have some of the things that you would look for as far as user controls with the nice stiff arm, the spin move, and the juke move. Now, those attributes are green, but they're not the best at the position. They're not terrible. They're not amazing, though. They're good. They're good. 94, 94, 95 is good. Now, his carrying being only a 94 is a little bit of a concern. I didn't really see much in terms of him fumbling more than any other cards, though. It's not a red attribute, so it's decent. I don't think he's going to fumble any more than most other running backs, but it's something that we want to put on this list. And then the last thing. This card actually has some of the best catching attributes of any running back in this entire game. 89 catching and 89 catching traffic are unbelievable. The only card that I, I if I remember correctly, and I, I apologize for not knowing this off the top of my head, but I believe that the only card that has higher numbers in those attributes is the Ultimate Legend Thurman Thomas card. So if you're looking for a running back that can catch passes out of the backfield or even be lined up at wide receiver, this is the card for you. This is an excellent card. 40,000 coins, like I said, it's a good price for it. It's not much worse than the Ultimate Legend card, to be honest with you. And it's better than most of these other Ultimate Legend cards at, that are 100,000, 200,000 coins. It really is. It's a great, great card, and I highly, highly recommend it if you have the coins to invest in this one. Moving on now to running back number two on this list, and this one is a card that's been out for quite some time. But it's an absolute beast as well. This is Playoff Jamal Charles. And it has 98 speed with 99 acceleration. So other than like the Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders and some of the other top end Ultimate Legend cards that came out and like the Chris Johnson Combine card, it's pretty much the fastest running back in the game. And all those cards are quite a bit more expensive. So this is the fastest running back for under 50,000 coins in this game. And it also has amazing elusiveness. And that's that attribute that I was telling you about before that kind of helps you break away from tackles without really needing to do anything. Now, this card does have some concerning attributes. It does only have an 80 trucking. It's only got a 77 stiff arm and it's only got 90 for carrying. So it does have a little bit of a fumbling issue. But if you're somebody that's able to avoid getting hit sticked and you're somebody that doesn't leave yourself out out there hanging all the time you're gonna do okay even with the 90 carrying it's not that terrible it's not a good attribute obviously it's not even a yellow it is in the red but I'm not super worried about it but it is something that we need to obviously talk about so this uh, this card also has really great catching attributes just like the Thurman Thomas it has 85 catching and 85 catching traffic so nice numbers there now it's only 5,000 coins cheaper than Ghost Thurman Thomas, but again, it has some different attributes. It is a little bit faster, but it doesn't have quite as good of the user-controlled stiff arm and this trucking and that kind of stuff. So again, it kind of comes down to what you want to use your running back for. Like I said, he is a little bit faster, and he has the better elusiveness, but not as good of uh, user-controlled attributes. So kind of comes down to who you are as a player. I think if you're more skilled individually, this card is probably not the card for you. You probably want to use the Thurman Thomas. But if you're somebody who's not quite as good at the game and somebody that kind of needs to rely a little bit more on the player themselves to make plays, Jamal Charles might be better for you. Uh, but all, all things considered, those two cards are fairly similar in a lot of areas, but uh, both are very, very nice cards. So let's move on to now running back number three, and this one is a little bit more gimmicky because um, I think that this card is, if you look at its attributes, look at all those green attributes. Uh, I... I was absolutely shocked when I saw some of these because 96 speed, 98 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 elusiveness. Are you kidding me with those numbers? I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. If it was a little bit faster, if it had like 98 speed, this might be the kind of card that I could seriously consider even starting on my team right now, despite the fact that I have really, really good running backs, including Ultimate Legend Barry. I might consider selling Ultimate Legend Barry to get this card uh, if it had a little bit faster high-end speed. But 
Either way, 96 speed is still very fast for the running back position. Um, it does still have good numbers in things like spin move, juke move, carrying, and then it has 92 catching. As you can probably imagine, Darren Sproles is going to have amazing catching numbers. And despite the fact that it's lower than some of the other cards that we've seen on here in this catch and traffic attribute, it's still a green in catch and traffic because uh, most other running backs that you're going to find are not going to be anywhere near that high in the catching numbers. They're going to be more like the 60s or even like the 50s in some cases. So overall, this card is amazing. 30,000 coins, one of the best uh, prices that you're going to find on an elite running back. Now, it does have some obvious concerns here in the trucking and the stiff arm numbers. Those are not good numbers. You basically cannot truck or stiff arm with Darren Sproles. But if you're not somebody that does those things, uh, like me personally, I almost never truck. I almost never stiff arm. This is the kind of card that I could seriously use, like I said. Um, it's a very, very nice card. And it's the free agency edition, by the way. I don't know if you guys realize that. Um, but it's 97 overall. And I really, really like this card. I don't see any reason why people are not using it more other than the fact that it's kind of a little bit harder to come by. So that's something that we do need to obviously keep in mind. But I just was looking at the numbers of this one and I couldn't leave it off my list. I, I had to put it in here. It just has too good of attributes. You're not going to find a better running back in terms of these categories that we're looking at. I mean, just look at all those green num numbers. It's unbelievable. There isn't going to be another running back on this list that has higher than that. So, um, you know, for 30,000 coins, if you can find him there at that price, I do recommend it. Now, the one thing that's a little bit hidden about this card is obviously that Darren Sproles is pretty much a little person, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Um, he's, I think, five foot six or something like that. So he is an absolutely tiny player. He's not a guy who's going to be able to go up and make catches jumping over guys, despite the fact that he has good catching and good catch in traffic. So that's one thing to keep in mind. He's much better on things like crossing patterns or slants or, uh, you know, halfback uh, screens out of the backfield. He is going to be, do a great job on those type of things, but not so great on some of like the jump up in the air kind of catches that maybe Thurman Thomas might be a little bit better at, uh, or some of these other taller running backs anyway. So with that being said, guys, let's move on to our fourth running back. And again, this is another one that I think it really kind of depends on the type of player that you are, if you like this card or not. And that card is the free agency edition, Ben Tate. Now, Ben Tate is 15,000 coins, so we're getting lower here in the price range. But Ben Tate is the kind of card that I think a lot of people are undervaluing if they like to do things like trucking and uh, stiff arm and spin move and that kind of stuff. Because Ben Tate actually has pretty nice user-controlled attributes. His juke move at 89 is kind of mediocre, but he has really great trucking attributes 96 trucking there aren't going to be very many players at 15,000 coins that have anywhere near that kind of an attribute he only has 93 speed though and 95 acceleration so this isn't really the kind of card that I would like to use for my offense and my playing style but I know a lot of people like to run dives and uh, really beat up the interior of their opposing defense and this is definitely the kind of card that you would want to use to do that so I, again, it, I, it really, really does come down to the kind of player that you are, whether this is a good card for you or not. Um, it doesn't have great numbers and things like agility and elusiveness and juking. And as you can see on the right hand side, his catching and catch and traffic are both red attributes. So he is not a great reception running back. But again, he is really good at going right up the middle and pounding the defense. He is not going to fumble very often because he has 94 carrying. It's not, a, It's not. again, it's not an amazing attribute, but it's good enough. He's not going to fumble very often, and he is going to pound the opposing defense. He is the kind of guy that you run straight up the middle on those dives on, on third and two or whatever, and you just smash that truck stick button, and you're going to run right through the defense most of the time. So I really do like the card for that no, uh, attribute, but some of these other things he's not quite so good for. So let's move on to our final card, and this is, one, is another one that I think is um, a little bit more to do with the kind of player that you are, but Danny Woodhead. The final edition Danny Woodhead, and this is a card that I think XRyan915 is still using on his current uh, pack and play series, if I remember correctly. I think he opened this, this puppy up. He's got 95 speed, 97 acceleration, 97 agility, and 98 elusiveness. So it is actually very, very similar to the Darren Sproles card in a lot of those attributes. 
He also has some really nice juke moves. And of course, as you would expect by a guy who was close to leading the league in receptions at the running back position, he has great catching attributes. He has 87 catching, 84 catch in traffic. So a nice, nice card overall. And I really compared this card a lot to the Darren Sproles that we looked at a couple of slides ago because uh, just like that Darren Sproles, he's not good in trucking and he's not good in stiff arm, but he's basically good everywhere else. And he's about the third of the price of Darren Sproles. So if you're not able to find Darren Sproles on the free agency market or if you're not able to, uh, to pay for him being that he's about three times as expensive as Danny Woodhead, this is the kind of card that you can substitute for Darren Sproles and still get a very similar type of player. I'm not going to go into the individual numbers for every single one of these things, but uh, like I said with Darren Sproles, he's a small player. He makes a lot of catches out of the backfield. Not going to make many catches as far as jumping up and catching over players, but you don't really do that too often with your running back unless you're in an absolutely desperate situation. So overall, I think Danny Woodhead is an excellent player. Highly recommend him. And for 10,000 coins, this is the end of the budget series for the running back at, uh, position. And I hope you guys enjoyed it because if you did, I really want to do this again in Madden 15. But I need to have some people, if you guys are interested in me doing that, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Because otherwise, I don't really know if you guys are liking the series or not. Obviously, it's a little bit different at this point than the first budget series that we did where we, we were comparing cheaper players to the really expensive ones. But in this case, we're just kind of trying to figure out who's a good value in like the 10 to 50,000 range. So it's kind of a little bit of a different concept. Anyway, though, let me know if you guys are liking the series. If you do, press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. And also, if you're new to the series, make sure to press that subscribe button because there is going to be plenty of Madden 25 content until the end of this game. And I'm also going to take and hit the ground running in Madden 15. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.